after the SWAG championship game. Tickets can be purchased at any box office. Locations for $13. If there are any questions, please contact Dr. Murray at 601-877-20112. Again, that's 601-877-20112. WPRL 91.7 FM, third annual toy drive. Now through December 20th, 2013, help us make a child feel special. The toys must range from ages one through 13. The department that raises the most toys receives a prize. For, our, for more information, call us at 601-877-6594 or 601-877-6290. We now return you to the Players Club. This is your girl, DJ Redbone, and this is now the interview portion of my show. Today with me, I have Larry K. Sanders. He is from Shreveport, Louisiana. He teaches here at Alcorn State University in the Mass Communications Department. How are you doing today? I am excellent. Thank you for having me. What made you choose Alcorn? Um, believe it or not, I know this may sound corny, but I've always wanted to be a, a professor. And I, I, you know, one of my goals was to be like in a, a SWAC institution. And really, I didn't choose Alcorn. It kind of chose me because before I came here, and I've been here for eight years now, uh, I was working at a school called East Texas Baptist University in Marshall, Texas, and is in uh, East Texas, and I was a part-time worker. So uh, they had a full-time position available here, and part-time does not compare to full-time at all, so I took the full-time position down here, and I've been happy ever since. What subjects do you teach in this department? Um, introduction to mass communications, uh, mass media writing, alternative media. I pretty much run the gamut from the uh, first beginning course, which is CO100, as I said, at the Intro to, Intro to Mass Communications. And um, it's a 400 level course, which is a senior level course called uh, Research in Mass Communications. Now, favorite, and I also teach in the uh, Fine Arts Building in, in Oral Communications. Uh, favorite classes, uh, Oral Communications. I love the writing class. I love this class, the, the broadcast announcing, the, mm -hmm. uh, the radio production class. I love to see how the students emerge from when they first come down here and they're all nervous and shaky until they're doing their like seventh or eighth show and they don't need me anymore. So, you know, they can probably take my job, but they don't need me anymore. And I, I see the product and, I, and that's what I like. So I, I like the showing them how to do it. They grasp it, pick up on it, and then just run with it. So I, I love that. What does an average day consist of for you? Whew. Oh, it, I mean, as, as soon as I, get on campus, it's, it's, it's hectic, especially doing things like um, midterms or, or, or when people are trying to get their pin numbers for school and whatnot, you know, I'll get here and I have people like waiting at the door, waiting on me already. So I have to come in with the, the attitude that I have to get going because I know people want this thing, want, whatever they want, they want it done quickly and I don't like to have people waiting uh, 20, 30 minutes on me while I'm trying to do something. So. Um, teaching the classes, uh, advising, uh, running back and forth to the radio station, uh, going over to the fine arts building for speech. It's, uh, it's very hectic, you know, that's why I'm so small. I'm always doing all this exercise and running up and down the stairs and all this kind of stuff. So it's hectic, but it's manageable. And, but, but I love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else. There were complaints about not having enough professors in this department or it's being too high in the radio station. And, you know, this is a great department, so what pros and cons do you have to say about this department? Um, wow, you put me on the spot. <laughs> the, the, the pros of the department, I, I, I think, are that it, it's one of those, those um, majors that's going to be around forever. I mean, everything is mass communications, regardless if you're working at the post office or in Waterworks or at McDonald's or Walmart. You know, there's some type of communications involved within that. And, and that's the pro aspect of it, because as I said, it's one of those liberal arts majors that's going to always be around. Um, the cons, uh, the technology changes so fast. You know, once you have gotten one specific aspect of it down, it's always something new. iPhone two, iPhone three, iPhone four, iPhone five. You know, it's just, and I have to stay up, on, uh, stay abreast of all that. Now I know that. Some of my students are listening now, and they're, they're going to sit there and say, well, you have a phone from 1997, you know, <laughs> but it is what it is, and I still like that old phone, but, you know, it's still working. But those would have to be uh, arguably the, the pros and the cons of it. So what's 
So if you could change anything about this department, what would it be? Uh, I would want to have our own building. Uh, that that would really mean something to me. Um, have our own state of the art, you know, 2017 building in the back of the campus. Yeah, I would love to have. So that. how can we get that? Uh, writing grants, federal funded monies. Um, but most of all, we, we need a lot of money to get that going. You hear that world? A lot of money. <laughs> so, and I mean, with, with our field uh, in communications, it's one of the most expensive fields to, to keep going. Because as I said about the technology, it's changing every day. And one of the things we try to do is to keep you all abreast of everything that's going on. Because we don't want to have equipment that's 30 years old. You know, we, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. So as, as I've said, we have to have uh, money continuously coming within the department. I think a lot of people look down on this department and, you know, turn the, their, their cheek to it because it's not like a, a nursing program, it's mass communication. And it's a good, you know, people need the skill to have in order to survive in any type of workforce. So um, True. what are your plans and goals for the near future? Um, plans and goals. Somebody asked me that before, and I said, I, I, I said when are you going to leave Alcorn? I'll leave Alcorn as long, I mean, I'll stay here as long as it'll, it'll have me. So, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. But plans and goals, as I said, was one, to get our own, um, to get our own building. I would love to have a, a graduate program um, within, within Alcorn. I, I would love to have that, specifically something in um, um, mass communications or human communications or, or something to that effect. Uh, speech communications, I, I would love to have that. Uh, to try to get more more students within the department, you know, I would, I would love to have uh, 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 100, 250 students in the department. You know, that would be great to be one of the largest uh, liberal arts, uh, uh, one of the largest liberal arts schools on campus, and to have for us to graduate the largest largest amount of students on campus. I would love to have that. So those are some of my future plans and goals. What has been your proudest moment while teaching here? Uh, when a student gets a job in the field and they call me back and they say, uh, I, I have that job. Or when a, when a kid calls me back and say, hey, I got into graduate school and uh, you know everything that, we, that you were telling us in research methods, uh, or Dr. Domitar taught us about a, a photography, or Ms. Terry taught us about law, or uh, what, what uh, Curtis taught us about uh, uh, film, you know, we, we're using that. And, and that's that's a, a good feeling for me. Uh, but but for me personally, it's it's the grad school thing, you know, and then getting the job in the field because those are the two goals that we try to set for for every student in the department. But that we train you to the point where you can get that first job in MassCom or go to graduate school. I'm just a sucker for the graduate school thing because you know I I think that the more degrees you have, the more money you have. And I, I would always tell kids to do it early, you know, while you're young, 21, 23, 24, because, you know, older than that, life happens. And you, you get a significant other, and you get married, and you have a couple of kids, and then the bills come. You know, you don't really have time to go back and do that. So I, I would prefer if they do that. But those are, that's some of my happiest moments. So is there a lot of um, graduates? That graduate from this department? Yeah, I mean, since well, now now we average uh, between seven and I think it was seven and eleven students a semester, so that's that's pretty good. You know, we we're not you know a department that only graduates two people a semester and whatnot. But we, <laughs> we you know we we don't have a we're not Duke or Yale. We have twenty five thousand people going there, or something like that. But uh, yeah, those those seven to eleven that's that's a goal that we try to set for ourselves for each graduating class. So before students leave this department, what advice would you give a student who wants to be in this department? Um, take what you're going to do seriously. Uh, don't come to school and, and play and joke around and all that because it's not about that. It's really not. It's about being serious, being studious, and doing what you need to do to accomplish the goal in the future. You know, you're doing this for you know, I know you, you may want to be all cool and everything at 17, but you're doing this for 42 year old you and 36 year old you, you know, and I'm more than certain that that person would appreciate you taking your academics seriously. And, um, you know, if you're going to get in this profession, shadow someone who's already in the profession. Uh, go up to their, their place of business, ask them, hey, you don't have to pay me anything. Just let me 
empty the trash or, or answer the phones or something just so I can be around it so I can observe and see what's going on so I can learn it and therefore when I actually get into college I already have that experience that I need. Okay. Any closing remarks or words? Um, I, I hope that I've, if someone who's listening that's a, a senior in high school or younger, you know, I've inspired them to come to Alcorn and, and if you have any question or anything like that, you can uh, call me uh, on my office phone, which is area code 601-877-6632. If I, I don't answer, that means I'm not there because I do a lot of running around. Uh, you can leave a message, <clears throat> excuse me, or just uh, hit me up on my email, which is lsanders at allcorn.edu. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Sanders, for being here. Thank you so very much for having me. We now return you to our regular scheduled programming. Up next, we'll have Fortunate by Maxwell. Thank you.